Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat Cam. Today, I wanted to uh, take a quick look at dealing with multiple setups within a specific job. So you might remember this part from uh, a different video that I created, and uh, a couple of things that I wanted to touch on real quick. You know, when you get a bunch of toolpath on the screen, uh, sometimes it clutters your view, and you, and you may want to hide that toolpath. So if you click on your machine setup, you you right click there and then you go to blank on blank toolpath that will hide all your toolpath it will put a red X in front of it letting you know that it's blanked out but uh, this way it's not obstructing your view now in this example we have our first set of operations that we've done on the the top of the part and then if you look on the bottom here we we have some additional operations that we want to set up and program as well so all we need to do is insert another setup so we'll right click on our first setup and then we'll left click on insert setup and this gives us machine setup one and machine setup two now by default machine setup one is set on center and machine setup two mirrors what the original setup was uh, uh, which was used and what we want to do is we want to flip the part over and we want to program on this side here so how do you edit where your uh, origin is for the second setup well you just right click on machine setup two and you choose edit and then your machine setup dialog box comes up for origin we're gonna just click on origin and uh, well, right now I have my stock blanked out, so let me uh, turn that off. Let me unblank my stock, okay? Let me edit my setup here. Click on my origin. Okay, my my layer was uh, my where my layer was not uh, actively viewing, so I wasn't able to see all my snap uh, snap points that come up. So we're gonna go ahead. Now that I turned that on, we can see it. So let's start over here. Cancel out of this. Okay. So we're back in our uh, cam. We're gonna we've inserted our second setup. We're gonna right click on our second setup. We're gonna choose edit. Uh, what this will do is bring up all of our snap points by default. We're going to click on origin. I'm going to click on bottom center in this example. But then what I need to do is align my uh, Z and my X and Y so it's facing the right direction. So I'll click on my Y orientation. I'll click on this line here. And then I'm just going to swap my X. And now we have uh, top center on the, the bottom of the part. So again, on our first setup here, we can see our origin is on center and then on, on our second setup here we can see that it's on center on the bottom okay so now from here I have uh, some layers already set up with some geometry so I can just turn my solid off and let's say I want to pocket this I'm gonna select these lines here and I'll turn them into dotted lines and then I'll just load in my pocketing routine uh, pocketing select this this and this and that one and spacebar and next and you know set what my depth is and my pattern and my tool and all the standard stuff that you would get into and you'll see my toolpath is generated to uh, cut those open pockets now one of the things that I wanted to talk about again if I edit my first setup you can see I'm in machine setup one if I get into my second setup and I choose edit you can see that's in machine setup two okay if I look at a feature in my first setup you can see under posting I'm in work offset number one if I go into my second setup and I edit my feature and I go into posting, you can see that it's still in work offset number one. So even though I have two different setups, I'm still posting in G54. If I want to change this to post in a different work offset, I do have to uh, set that uh, drop down right there. Okay? So a real quick example of how to uh, edit multiple setups within a single part. Hopefully you find that information useful. Thank you so much, guys.